What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we talk about armor, what is the best armor in the game, and we're going to answer all the questions. What perks you should look for on your gear? What's better between bad legendaries or good epics? What's the difference between Invictus and Basilisk sets, and which one is the best? And at the end, where you can find all the legendary armor in the whole game. Before we start, I made a video about Legendary Armor 8 months ago when Legendary Armor came out. You guys need to know, when Legendary Armor came out, the perks were fixed. It means every time you drop Legendary Armor, everyone had the same perks on it. So because of that, it was pretty bad. But now things have changed. Every time you drop Legendary Armor, the perks are randomly generated. It means you could have anything and because of that the legendary armor is the best gear in the game or it has the potential to be because it has extra perks now talking about perks what perks should you look for on your gear we're gonna check piece by piece what you should look for let's start with the boots usually on most of your gear you will be looking for crit damage crit damage is a rare perk it's purple so it's hard to get and when you get it you get a maximum of 15 percent crit on one perk so naturally on your boots you're gonna be looking for the highest possible crit damage you can find and on top of that cooldown reduction could be pretty good it doesn't work in pvp but it works in pve so cooldown reduction you can skip if you play mostly pvp and after that you're gonna look for double resistance i really value explosion resistance over knockdown so i'm always looking for high explosion resistance on my boots it's good in pvp because people use rocket launchers a lot there's a lot of grenades if you have explosion resistance on your gear and on your skill tree it's gonna be very high and it's gonna save your life cooldown is debatable you don't really need it if you're gonna have it it's gonna be low numbers anyways so it will not make a huge difference we said it doesn't work in pvp and to make a difference in pve is if you're speed farming with a really good squad sometimes it will make a difference in arena because sometimes you need your am bomb to be ready at the start of some round and if you clear the rounds too fast your am bomb is not going to be ready in time but if you get high cooldown it might be ready and it's gonna help uh, clearing the arenas faster now on the legs you'll be looking for crit damage and ammo and after that melee resistance so usually you will look for highest crit as you can and then you look for uh, primary ammo so if you use an AR you're gonna look for AR clip size or just magazine cap it's gonna apply to any weapon and you can have everything you can have crit primary ammo secondary ammo and magazine cap but it's gonna be very rare to have everything so the next stat you'll be looking for to get good legs is melee resistance if you play a lot of pve especially end game in gold arena and hive mine melee resistance will help you survive against the blinkers they hit really hard melee resistance is the key to survival now for the body armor if you can get triple hp on your chest is what everyone's looking for triple hp Try to get 36, 40, 40 plus. You can go as high as 45. It's very hard to find, but it's what you need. Everyone needs a good body armor with triple HP. And that's why a lot of people wear epic body over legendary body. When I see the question on message boards, is it better to get HP or activation stats? Everyone pretty much will answer get high HP. You cannot generate health if you're dead. So extra HP will help you survive. Now the gloves will be all about damage. You look for primary damage or base damage. Let's say SMG damage or shotgun damage or AR damage. This is the base stat. It's what's going to be multiplied with all the multipliers later. After that, if you do a lot of dungeons and arenas, you look for elite damage and then crit damage. So base damage, elite damage, crit damage, and then extra stuff. You can go for accuracy. You can go for more melee resistance. Sometimes you can get primary damage and secondary damage. I've seen SMG damage and sniper damage. So if you're a sniper and SMG user, it's going to be awesome. You can ignore elite damage if you do mostly PvP. You're just going to look for damage. So primary damage plus base damage plus crit damage and then something else. Now on the shoulders, there's three different things you can get. Selling percentage, loot percentage and crit damage. 
you try to avoid selling because it's a useless perk in this game right now if you do pvp all you need is crit damage loot percentage is going to do nothing for you in pvp now if you're farming legendaries in easy dungeons and you want to increase your drop rates loot percentage will help you a little bit but if you're trying to speed run or if you're trying to clear hard content you should try to get crit damage because it's going to help you kill the tough bosses and the hard enemies uh, it's going to do more damage basically now the tough question is it better to have legendaries with a bit weaker stats or epics with higher stats the answer is simple if you do pve content dungeons and arenas you look for stats and only stats it doesn't matter if it's legendary or epic as long as you have the high stats but if you do pvp it's okay to sacrifice a bit of stats to use legendary armor because legendaries in pvp they get a buff so legendary weapons will deal more damage and legendary armor will help you survive better now next question what's better between basilisk and invictus is there a difference between both legendary sets the answer is no there's no difference the difference is the perks but the perks are random you can have the same perks on basilisk gloves and invictus gloves so they're gonna do the same thing the sets don't have special powers or special boost or anything so you can wear a mix of anything as long as the perks are good you'd look for the highest stats and that's what you wear now where do you find all the pieces of invictus and basilisk armor now here's the basilisk set location the shoulders are in blade dancer silver arena will have the gloves and the boots gold arena for the body armor and hive mind for the legs for the invictus set you will go to voltaic fist for the shoulders and the boots blade dancer has the gloves gold arena for the body armor and hive mind for the legs now to end this video we're going to look at some of the best armor in the game i asked the community to post on discord their best pieces of armor so let's look at what they have starting with these boots from josh xd 15 percent crit is the highest number you can get for crit it also has a three percent cooldown speed and some knockdown and explosion it's got double knockdown three percent explosion is a bit low but still very nice legendary boots these boots from polyus 14 percent crit is one less than the max but it's got 10 percent explosion the highest possible number for one perk and five percent cooldown speed on top of that now these boots from beware 10 percent explosion 15 crit this is max crit and max row for one explosion resistant perks it has a lower cooldown but more explosion i really love these boots now these basilisk boots i'm pretty sure it's from white flower max crit double explosion perks for 14 percent total and 47 knockdown these boots are the holy nuts boots again from anastasia h max crit six cooldown and a bit low explosion now the legs i didn't see a lot of posts but this one max crit 14 support it's got 10 melee and 7 magazine cap so it's got three purple perks very nice item by johnny gomez now legendary armor with triple hp is super hard to find i'm still looking for one but baby kush here on his second account super kush 8 uh, triple hp with three percent activation stats pretty cool another one here 37 is a bit low for triple hp but still if you have triple hp legendary in pvp you're gonna use it uh, over maybe a 40 but no legendary it's pretty decent still now that one from dune chick 42 percent hp and one percent activation now this one is one of the best i've seen 44 percent hp and five percent auto heal stat this is really high now we're gonna look at some gloves dune chick here has got shotgun damage illy damage max crit and eight melee it's pretty good if you use shotguns interesting gloves here if you like smgs you got smg damage smg accuracy 14 crit and some melee resistance is very nice if you're an smg user now the ones i talked about earlier smg accuracy smg damage base damage and sniper damage it means you got 10 percent damage when you use smgs and when you use snipers and you got accuracy on your smg on top so you don't have crit you don't have elites but for pvp it's very nice now shoulders i don't have a lot of submissions but we have triple crit legendary shoulders with three percent loot our second submission for shoulders is from insulin mace and it's the other way around it's got triple loot with crit but it's pretty high numbered 10 percent loot 
and 13% crit. Very nice if you want a mix of both. And that will be it already for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have more questions, post below. And let me know in the comment what is your best perk set on Legendary Gear. I will read the comments later. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.